how to delete transaction history in Gcash. If you have used this Gcash application, you are aware that by selecting the activity tab and touching the clock symbol in the bottom right corner, you may see the entirety of your transaction history. It is currently not possible to erase your Gcash history through your account settings. But instead of having used your Gcash program, I'm going to show you a potential way or possible method by using a browser. So first you have to go to your Gcash help center. Now go to the bottom right corner and you will see this chat with Gigi. Okay, so you have to click this one if you have questions or concerns. So here what you're going to do is to simply ask them to talk or have a conversation with their representative or customer service representative. So most of the cases, they will present a representative, but most of the time, they will let you submit a ticket first. So if you think that it takes time, then you can simply go and ask them to submit a ticket. For example, this one right here, and then they will say that there is no available representative. So you just have to type submit a ticket and then click the button. And here, what you're going to do is to enter the information that they ask. For example, your email address, your Gcash full name, your country, your mobile number, and also your concerns category. So for concerns category, then you can choose a Gcash account. If there is my Gcash account here, you just have to tap that one. And then here, uh, you can add anything because I can't see any delete transaction history here. So you could just pick from any of the topic here. But when it comes to your details or your message below, you must emphasize or be specific with your concern. For example, uh, you want to delete your transaction history in Gcash. So you can tell them, can you please help me delete my transaction history in Gcash and so on. So click these two boxes right here and you can attach a file if you want, but this one is not really necessary. After that, click submit and wait for their customer service representative or from their team to give you the instruction or what are the next thing to do. If not, or if you cannot reach them with this, then you can simply call to their hotline number. So you just have to simply go to contact us and then contact them right away to address your concern. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials.